Good morning students welcome to Bindu Dadwal chemistry lessons today we'll solve series A of HP board first term exams chemistry for class 12th so let us begin so first question is long range order is present in answer is crystalline solids question number 2 ideal solution obeys raoult's law over entire range of concentration the si unit of conductance is siemens the order of reaction for the rate expression rate is equal to k into a raised to power half into b raised to power half is we will add up the two powers half plus half is 1 so answer is 1 order is order of reaction is 1 the term absorption stands for both absorption and adsorption which one of the following is most abundant in the earth's crust so all these are metals and the most abundant metal is aluminium so option c is the correct answer NCl5 does not exist due to its absence of d orbitals in the nitrogen nitrogen cannot expand its octet because there are no vacant d orbitals maximum covalency of oxygen is normally oxygen form, forms two bonds but using its lone pair of electron it can form three bonds also so maximum covalency will be 3 if n is the number of closed packed spheres then total number of tetrahedral voids will be 2n the number of tetrahedral voids is double the number of spheres whereas octahedral void is same as the number of spheres SI unit of mole fraction is as mole fraction is the number of moles of solute upon the total number of moles so moles cancel out with moles so it has no units a weak electrolyte dissociates into ions incompletely after some time an equilibrium is set potential of an electrode means tendency of electrode to lose or gain electrons the tendency to lose electrons is called oxidation potential and tendency to gain electrons is called reduction potential units of rate constant for first order reaction is second inverse as you know rate is equal to k into concentration raised to power 1 for first order reaction units of rate moles per liter per second units of concentration moles per liter when this goes down moles per liter cancel out and second inverse is left so units of rate constant second inverse molecularity of the reaction will be 1 plus 1 2 smoke is aerosol type of colloidal system clotting of blood is due to coagulation process Mohn's process is used for refining of nickel. Nickel is heated with carbon monoxide to form tetracarbonyl nickel. The vapors move to other spot, impurities are left behind and then at higher temperature it's decomposed back to nickel and nickel is purified. So Mohn's process is used for refining of nickel. Galvanic cell is the electrochemical cell where reaction between zinc solid and copper ions takes place to form zinc ions and copper solid and electric current is produced as a result f centers impart color to the crystal colligative properties depend upon the number of solute particles and not on the nature calculate the number of atoms in fcc and bcc so in case of face centered structure atoms are present at the eight corners of a unit cell each atom is shared by eight unit cells so contribution of the atoms at the corner is 8 into 1 by 8 plus there are 
six atoms present at the center of each of the six faces and each face is shared by two unit cells so contribution is 1 by 2 so 6 into 1 by 2 is 3 so 3 plus 1 is 4 so in case of FCC it is 4 and in case of body centered atoms are present at the eight corners of the unit cell and also in the center of the body so the number of atoms will be 8 into 1 by 8 plus 1 in the body. So, 1 plus 1 is 2. So, 2 in body centered. Show that elevation in boiling point is a colligative property. So, we know that elevation in boiling point is equal to elevation constant, ebulloscopic constant Kb into molality. If we remove the constant, then that means elevation in boiling point is proportional to number of moles of the solute. So, as it is proportional to the number of moles, so it is a colligative property. How much charge is required for reduction of 1 mole of permanganate ions to manganese? So, in MnO4 negative, the oxidation state of manganese can be calculated as plus 7 and in Mn2 plus oxidation state is plus 2. So, that means manganese takes 5 electrons to get converted to plus 2 state. That means 5 moles of electrons are required. The charge carried by 1 mole is 1 Faraday. So, charge carried by 5 mole of electrons will be 5 Faraday. So, how much charge is required? 5 Faraday is the answer. A first order reaction is found to have rate constant K is equal to 7.39 into 10 is to power minus five seconds inverse find half-life of this reaction we know that half-life is equal to 0 0.693 upon k value of k is given so on solving we get the answer 9.38 into 10 raised to power 3 seconds explain bridig arcs method the, we use bridig arcs method to prepare colloidal salts of gold or silver or platinum. So, what we do is we take the metal rod of which the colloidal solution is to be formed. For example, if we have to form gold, uh, colloidal solution of gold, we will take gold rod and we struck an electric arc between them. The gold gets vaporized and as we have put here, uh, potassium hydroxide which is a stabilizer and water which is cooled by ice over here. So, this ice cooled water solution will convert the vaporized gold into a colloidal sole which is spread over here. So, this method is called Bridig Arcs method. It is used to prepare soles of metals. Then next question is describe zone refining process. So, zone refining process is used for purification or refining of metals like silicon, germanium, gallium. So, let us say, say if we have taken a germanium rod, a circular heater is passed over it. So, the principle behind this method is that the impurities are more soluble in the molten state than in the solid state. So, when we start begin passing heater, circular heater over A, from this direction to this, the metal starts melting. Now, impurities move into the molten portion and uh, as the heater is moving forward, the molten portion is also moving forward. Now, whereas the metal solidifies, the impurities move forward, metal solidifies behind. So, this process is repeated a number of times, every time impurities move forward and one stage comes when the rod consists of two zones, one containing impurities and other containing pure metal. Then the rod is broken into two parts. So, the second part devoid of impurity is pure up to 99.99%. So, this process is called zone refining process. Now, out of ammonia, PH3 and ASH3, SPH3, BIH3, which one is most basic and why? So, ammonia is the most basic because the nitrogen atom is the smallest. So, the lone pair of electrons on it uh, on a small atom will show greater electron density 
and the tendency to donate electron will be maximum. As we go down the group, the size of the atom increases, electron density increases, so basic character also decreases. Electron density decreases and basic character decreases. Why H2S is more acidic than H2O? This is because size of sulfur atom is bigger than size of oxygen atom. So as SH bond is larger, it's easier to break and release H. So that means it's more acidic. Whereas OH bond is smaller, it's more difficult to break. Its bond dissociation energy will be more, so it's weaker acid. What are interhalogen compounds? So compounds of two different halogens are called interhalogen compounds. Why interhalogen compounds are more reactive than the component halogens? It is because interhalogen compounds are made up of dissimilar atoms which are easier to break. Whereas the halogens contains of similar halogen atoms which are comparatively less easier to break. The bond dissociation energy is less so it is more reactive, bond dissociation energy is more, so it is less reactive. Next question, explain by showing diagram the behavior of non-ideal solution showing positive deviation from Raoult's law. So in case of uh, non-ideal solutions showing positive deviation, the two components which are mixed, mixed they are having and the two components after mixing have lesser interaction than the pure components A or B. So, because they have weaker interaction, they come into vapor phase more easily and vapor pressure is more than what is shown by ideal solution. So, the vapor pressure curves shows a uh, higher vapor pressure of the two components as well as of the solution. So, because of this, the behavior, the vapor pressure curve is bulging as compared to that of an ideal solution. Such solutions are called solutions, non-ideal solutions showing positive deviation from Raoult's law. For example, a combination of acetone and ethanol will be um, a non-ideal solution showing positive deviation. Um, ethanol, there is hydrogen bonding which is difficult to break. But when acetone comes between ethanol molecules, those hydrogen bonds are breaker and interactions are weaker. St state and explain Kohlrausch's law. So it states that equivalent conductivity of an electrolyte at infinite dilution is the sum of the conductances of anions and cations. That is total conductivity, total equivalent conductance for let's say sodium chloride will be conductance of sodium ions plus conductance of chloride ions, cations and anions. Now, uh, what are the functions of salt bridge? So, a salt bridge allows movement of ions from uh, one solution to another without the mixing of the two solutions. It completes the electric circuit by the migration of ions and it maintains electrical neutrality of the two solution. So, a, if this is the salt bridge, the ions move from uh, this solution to other via salt bridge, thereby not allowing the solution to mix. The neutrality is maintained and the reaction continues. Derive integrated rate equation for zero order reaction. So, for a zero order reaction, rate is equal to change in concentration of reactant with respect to time is equal to a constant into r raised to power 0 because it's a 0 or it does not depend on concentrations. Uh, when we integrate this dr taking dt to this side and the r raised to power 0 is 1. So, when we integrate this dr is equal to minus k dt, we get r is equal to minus kt plus i. Finding out the value of i when time is equal to 0, we get r naught is equal to i. So, uh, putting the value of i in this equation, we get r is equal to minus kt plus r0 or kt is equal to r0 minus r or k is equal to r0 minus r upon t. This is the integrated rate equation for zero order reaction. What do you mean by rate determining step in a complex reaction? So, a complex reaction occurs in steps 
and the slowest step is the rate determining step uh, the slowest step in the complex reaction is rate determining step because the uh, it will decide the rate of the reaction why fluorine usually shows oxidation state of minus 1 because fluorine has uh, seven electrons in its outermost orbit and needs only one electron to complete its octet. So, it shows oxidation state of minus one. Why noble gases are monoatomic in nature? Because they have complete octet and they, there is no need to form bond with a, any other atom. So, it is monoatomic in nature. Draw, draw the structure of uh, xenon fluoride. So, in case of xenon fluoride, there is sp3d2 hybridization, but uh, of the six octahedral positions, four in a um, planar region are occupied by lone pair of electrons. So, the geometry is reduced to linear structure. So, xenon difluoride is linear in nature. That's all in today's video. Thank you. Have a nice day.